What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here with the premiere of Shard It or Keep It Series 2. For those unfamiliar, I'm a hoarder. I can't seem to let any weapons or armor go. My Destiny 2 vault already looks like a dumpster for the forgotten and the neglected. So I enlist your help. In each episode, I will offer up one weapon or armor piece from Destiny 2 and review it, presenting both the good and the bad points of each piece of gear. Once my arguments are finished, I'll leave it to you to decide. Simply vote shard it or keep it in the comments of the video and I'll act upon your recommendation. Our first weapon for Series 2 is cosmetically one of my favorites in the game so far and undoubtedly has my favorite name as well. That name is the Old Fashioned. The Old Fashioned is a kinetic weapon that belongs to the mid-impact, mid-rate-of-fire class of hand cannons, which has gained early popularity in the Crucible. It has a fire rate of 140 rounds per minute with 9 bullets in the magazine, has low for its class base range, good stability, mediocre reload and handling speed, and a low amount of aim assist. Perks include a choice between three sights. True Sight HCS for slightly increased range, stability, and handling. Fast Draw HCS for greatly increased handling speed and a slight increase to stability. And Hit Mark HCS for a slight increase to range. In the second column, we have a choice between Accurized Range for increased range or Drop Mag. The magazine drops on reload, wasting ammunition but greatly increasing reload speed. Drop Mag seems to shave about a second off the reload animation. Finally, we have Kill Clip. Reloading after a kill grants increased damage. So let's talk about the pros for this weapon. The weapon is beautiful. Obviously, cosmetics are subjective, but when I first saw this guy, I melted. I love the old school Wild West look of it. The sound of the barrel rotating as you pull the trigger. The cool as hell reload animation. It's unique, it's cool, and that makes me very happy. It also feels very good to fire. Snappy is the term I would use. The firing animation and the crack of the gunshot is very satisfying in a way that not all Destiny 2 hand cannons are. It feels powerful, and it is. The gun belongs to the second highest impact class of hand cannons in Destiny 2, so it is powerful. And it gets even more savage when Kill Clip is engaged. Reload after a kill and you get a significant damage boost. In PvE, it can be the difference between one or two shotting an enemy. And in the Crucible, it can allow you to take out an opponent in three shots instead of four. Very useful. The Old Fashioned can also be set up to have fairly decent range for a hand cannon. It's not great range, the base stat on the weapon is too low for that, but by combining the perks Accurize Rounds and Hit Mark, you can significantly up the range of this little jobber. But it's not all peach pie and sunsets with the Old Fashioned. This gun has some drawbacks and some serious competition. First of all, the reload speed. It takes forever. Sure, you can equip drop mag, but that comes at some significant costs. First, you just lose whatever ammo was unspent in the magazine when you reload, which isn't a big deal in PvP, but can be a nightmare in PvE. And you lose the range bonus that Accurized Rounds would provide in the same perk slot. This hurts everywhere. Range is a big deal, affecting aim assist, damage fall off, and bloom, among other things. More range is more better, and this is a really tough trade-off to make. Next is the weapon's time to kill in the Crucible. It's slow. 1.3 seconds is the fastest you can get it if you hit your opponent for two crits and two body shots. 1.73 seconds if you hit for all body shots. That's not great. In fact, it's the second to slowest archetype in the game, right behind the 180 RPM scout rifles like the Nameless Midnight. And to add to the woes, it's actually really difficult to attain that time to kill. For me, when spamming the trigger as fast as this gun will shoot, it feels completely unreliable, especially at all but the shortest ranges. 
If I fire slowly, pacing my shots and taking time to allow the gun to reset, I can consistently hit headshots. But this lengthens the already slow time to kill, which is fine, but an auto rifle or a submachine gun that already has a faster time to kill needs no such patience, meaning that this hand cannon really requires one to be fairly crafty about ducking in and out of cover between shots. All things being equal, it's just harder to kill people than other weapons in other classes. And there are reasons for this besides its longish time to kill. This weapon has very little aim assist. Too little in my opinion. You can really feel it on this gun. Over corrections, losing a target mid firefight, the weapon just doesn't seem to help you much. Other hand cannons seem to offer much more help here. Guns like the Judgment or the Imset 4 lock onto a target easier and just make the weapon a bit more forgiving to use. Finally, there is Bloom. A problem with all hand cannons in general. Bloom sucks. Bloom works like this. You aim your weapon at a target and a cone is projected out, starting at the barrel of your weapon and going forward. The bullet fired can take a trajectory anywhere in that cone. At short range, it's hardly noticeable. At medium to long range, it feels bad. You will have your reticle aim perfectly on an opponent's noggin and the bullet just whizzes by. It feels terrible. Bungie implemented this in year two of Destiny 1 and then they pulled back on it a bit in year three, but it seems to be very much present in Destiny 2. It feels unrewarding to players and in my opinion should be toned way down. It doesn't reward player skill, but adds RNG to who wins a gunfight. It sucks, I hate it, take it out. So that's it. The Old Fashioned is a beautiful weapon that is capable of much mayhem, but you're going to have to work for it. It's not a weapon that rewards trigger spamming, but one that needs skill and precision from the guardian who wields it. In my hands, it's a very difficult beast to tame. In the hands of a more skilled player, it can be a weapon of mass destruction. Also, it's named after a hand job, so that's awesome. So now it's time for you to decide. Does the old fashioned deserve a place in the vault or is it just taking up space that more modern weapons could be occupying? Cast your vote in the comments below. Shard it or keep it. And in the next episode, I will act upon your recommendation. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.